Welcome to Cross Culture New Mexico. I'm your host, Mark Tross. Be sure to check out our website, crossculturenm.weebly.com. Like and share our Facebook page. Subscribe to this YouTube page, Cross Culture NM. Follow us on Twitter, connect on LinkedIn, and other social media sites. Today we're going to finish up the conclusion of the Feast of Shavuot, or Pentecost. Remember, there could be no church without it. It's not by our own might or power, but by God's Spirit. And as I said in the Gospel of John, after the resurrection, Jesus breathes on his disciples. He says, receive the Holy Spirit. But then he walks among them for 40 days, tells them to pray for 10 days in Jerusalem, waiting for Pentecost or the Feast of Shavuot, the coming of the Holy Spirit upon them. We hear about tongues of fire in Acts chapter 2, the anointing of God that breaks down every yoke of sin and bondage, and the Spirit of God that hovered over the water, that rested on Jesus at his time of baptism, so that he could fulfill his ministry purpose, is now working upon in and through you as a believer. This is a practical guide for believers in Messiah. There's much in this uh, segment that we've been covering, so be sure to check them out. Look up the different scriptures. Today we're going to be talking about the evening of Pentecost itself and how the traditional Jewish feast would be celebrated. So they gather together. It's a festival table. The holiday candles are lit and the following blessings are recited. Baruch Ata Aronai Eloheinu Melech HaAlam Asher Kedushana Bumitzvotav Layot Lagoyim Venatan Lanu Yeshua Mashiach Giano Haor La Alam Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us by the commandments and commanded us to be a light unto the nations and has given us Yeshua, Jesus, whose name means salvation, our Messiah, or in Greek would be the Christ, the light of the world. Jesus not only said, I am the light of the world, he says, you are the light of the world. As the Father has sent me, so I am, so God is sending you. On the first night of the holy day, we had, Baruch Ata Aronai Eloheinu Melech HaAlam, Shehikiyanu, Bigyan Manu, Vihigi, Yanu, Lazman, Haze. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us life, sustained us, and brought us to this season. God wants you and me to know and understand the times and the seasons that we live in. He has given us light, according to the Gospel of John, chapter 1. He is the light that lights the life of of all men and in this blessing it says he has given us life this is eternal everlasting abundant resurrection life you could not have it apart from the word of god jesus himself he is the way the truth and the life prepare for pentecost every day in your life live in pentecost live in revival walk in the spirit not by might, not by power, but by my spirit is both old and new covenant reality by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. However you choose to live and move and have your being in him, whatever you do is to be done as unto the Lord. And the blessing of Pentecost is the blessing upon the church to go into all the world and preach the good news of Jesus Christ the gospel that changes people's lives for eternity and blesses them with the Holy Spirit upon, in, and through them in Jesus' name. Check out our website, crossculturenm.weebly.com. Follow us on Twitter. Look for us on other social media sites. And be sure to subscribe to this YouTube page, Cross Culture NM. Next time, we will be talking about Rosh Hashanah, the new year. So be looking for us and check out our other videos on this YouTube channel.